Yo, what's up guys? It's CJ and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some basic tips on how to win Crab Game. So Crab Game, we all know, is Stan's game based off of Squid Game. And there's a few things you need to know to win each game. Now, first off, let's go over the UI. So you'll see in the very bottom right, we have our health bar. This is just really useful to look at health in certain game modes where you can take damage, such as lights out or the tag game mode with knives. Now in the top right of your screen, you can see how many players are left total in the entire match and how much time is left in that current game mode. In the bottom left, if you have it enabled, the chat will be there as well. One of the main things you need to know is that there's seven different mini games with about 40 different maps. Most of the game modes are fairly similar. They fall into just a few categories. One of the main categories is running around and punching people. Another one is just jumping and escaping. Now, one of the most useful mechanics that is the only really skill you can learn in this game is movement. Now, the movement is very, very simple in this game. He copied it from his game, Muck. Now, I'm gonna be doing a very in-depth movement tutorial that I will post on my channel later. But for now, what I will tell you is that the main thing you need to know is how to bunny hop. Now, the way I've, I've known how to bunny hop is that you need to move diagonally and then uh, time pressing your jump button minus space bar when you hit the ground and then sprint by holding shift. If you hold W and D, sprint and then jump, you can see how I kind of start launching to the side. Now, this is definitely way faster than any other movement in the game. You can try to incorporate sliding into it, but it's a little bit scuffed and doesn't always work. You can also use your mouse to kind of swoop with it and then you can get a little bit faster going. If you keep it in certain positions, it'll move way, way faster. And if you can get a groove going, you can get going really fast like this clip right here. Now, at the end of the day, winning is probably not the most fun part about this game. The most fun part about this game for me is community and just like yelling and talking to people through the voice chat. Whenever we get in big groups of people and we start yelling through the voice chat, that's the most fun for me. This is one of the few games I actually have fun, even when I'm losing. Try to have fun with this game. Try not to be too serious when playing it. Just have fun. And I promise you, you'll enjoy it way more. Also, here's a hidden Easter egg. There's one of these jukeboxes on every map playing the fire music. All right, now that's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.